It's the middle of campaign season, and your mailbox is no doubt full of crap like this, which you should read. It's always good to read up what they send out, understanding that it's all propaganda. And some of it may be true, some of it may not. But recently, I received this flyer, which I will show you the close-up of the offensive part, from County Commissioner Candidate Bruce Matari. It's from his buddy, Sheriff Bob Norris, and it is perhaps one of the most obnoxious campaign flyers I've ever seen. To understand this, you have to go back to 2020 and the sheriff's race, which was just god-awful. It was horrible. A nasty, nasty race. Here are the results and showing the candidates on the Republican ballot. Uh, Sheriff Bob Norris did win, of course, and Bruce Matari was his campaign manager, advisor, whatever. He does marketing. That's understandable. He helped push Bob to a victory. This is before these clowns started their rating and vetting program. Of course, there was a little bit more wisdom in the Republican Party back then. Now the uh, party has endorsed Matari. Full disclosure, I do support Chris Filios in this race. But that doesn't really take away what happens in this flyer. If you look at the details, it's pretty nasty. You have an elected county sheriff, Bob Norris, who is attacking a fellow elected official commissioner, Chris Filios, saying things like he's anti-gun, um, that he's just a Democrat. And I mean, so he's a partisan sheriff. And now he's allied himself with a challenger against a sitting incumbent and said nasty things about him, which I just think crosses the line. The questions I have are, for example, would Matari use this connection he has at the sheriff's office to dig up political dirt on his opponent, illegally accessing and researching background information? Would he do that? Even worse, this uh, brings up a lot of conflicts of interest. Say that you have a county commissioner in the future who's exacting some revenge on his political opponents and people who supported his opponents, and he comes up and threatens them or harasses them or says something that uh, is, like, shocking and appalling. <laughs> Are you going to go to the sheriff to try to get some justice there? <laughs> no. <laughs> sheriff Bob has already shown his allegiance. During the alternative forms of government fiasco, there was a lot of pressure from the right saying, we don't want an appointed sheriff. We want an elected sheriff. You're going to take our right to vote from the sheriff. You're going to take that away from us. Oh, and all that nonsense. And of course, that was, that was discussed at the meetings, and they said it's off the table. We're always going to elect the sheriff. This is a damn good reason to have an appointed sheriff because you would never, ever see an appointed police chief weigh in on a political race. They know it's their duty to uphold the law and to protect the rights of all the citizens. Sheriff Bob, you blew it.